I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons, my Biblio Spran, Biblio Howlers, and Biblio Mansers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means so much to me. Hi everyone, Patek here. Uh, today's video will be an unboxing video and also probably a mini review of a special edition. And this is a special edition that I'm super excited about. So uh, last month, I talk about this a bit in my video for uh, the Way of Kings Dragon's Tale unboxing and also review video that I got thanks to a super kind reader and viewer of my channel, Jen. And yeah, that was my first ever gift from a viewer and I will always treasure that. So in that video, I also talk about some of my most crave uh, special edition. And these are the Cosmic Leatherbound books by Brandon Sanderson and also Dragonsteel, especially for the Stormlight Archive. And also A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. Martin, Folio Society Edition. And now, apparently one of my patrons goes above and beyond, just like Jen, and he, Adi Raven, got me a copy of a Game of Thrones Folio Society Edition. And so just like my video for the Way of Kings Dragon Seal Edition unboxing, today I'm going to unbox ta -da, a Game of Thrones Folio Society Edition. And yeah, this is not only very heavy, it is also incredibly expensive. Now I will open this and find out whether the price is actually uh, worth it. Because yeah, as I said, this is not cheap and it's not something that I could afford on my own. And even though I was gifted uh, this copy of the Game of Thrones Folio Society Edition, I still have to pay a $50 custom fee. So yeah, it is not cheap for me who live in Indonesia to get a copy of Folio Society books. But yeah, enough rambling, I cannot wait anymore. Now I'm going to open this box. This will also be my second copy of Folio Society books because the first one, if some of you remember, was for Book of the New Sun uh, by Gene Wolf, Folio Society edition that I got uh, from booktubers, my fellow booktuber friends, and I will also always treasure that and now it's time to see this one okay so upon opening this box first we have some honeycomb wrapping paper i'm going to throw this away and then this one wow there's there are so many <laughs> hold on a receipt and also a sign that your books were packed by laura <laughs> oh I, I don't think they had this when i got book of the new sun and then we have more honeycomb wrapping paper. There are so many honeycomb uh, wrapping paper. And yeah, this is a Folio Society, a diary for the year 2023. So this is a bonus that I got uh, for free for getting a copy of a Game of Thrones Folio Society edition. And yeah, this looks really nice. This is a normal diary, uh, but there are plenty of illustrations such as this one. And it, yeah, it is in every page. The illustrations are in every page. And yeah, let's see if I will actually use this or not. But oh, oh, this is from A Feast for Crows. This art is actually from A Feast uh, for Crows by George R. Martin, uh, Folio Society edition. So yeah, this is, wow, this is kind of nice. This is actually a nice bonus. I'm going to take a look at the mall after I'm done with this unboxing video later. Now moving on to the next one. Let's see what else is inside the box. And this is a Folio Society magazine. And this one, this is from uh, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I'm going to take a look at this uh, later, but this looks really nice also. And yeah, this is a bonus as well, just like uh, the diary that I showed earlier. I'm moving on to the next item and hopefully, uh, yeah, this is it. This is, wow, how do I, how do I get this out? Hold on. Wow, this is huge. Okay, this is definitely the last item inside this box. I'm going to just cut off the plastic right now and then show uh, show the books in all its glory. This is pretty much Christmas came early <laughs> for me. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much to Adi for actually getting me a copy of this. This, wow. Look at this. You can see uh, GOT, the acronym GOT, Game of Thrones, being printed on the slipcase. And yeah, this is, this looks amazing. It's printed in gold. And I think this one is done by Jonathan Burton as well. Jonathan Burton is the main illustrator behind every book in A Song of Ice and Fire for Folio Society edition. And yeah, I think this one, the acronym at the slipcase is also done by him. And yeah, now let's take a look inside the book. This is The Spines. And yeah, I'm going to open the first volume first. I actually own a copy of every book in A Song of Ice and Fire so far, except A Peaceful Cruise and also uh, Dance with Dragons. I'm still waiting for the 20th illustrated edition for those books, but this, this will make a damn fine addition to my collection for Song of Ice and Fire. Oh, but I don't have a copy of The Rise of the Dragons yet, but that's definitely on my list of books to buy very soon. 
and wow look at this the dire wolf this is absolutely gorgeous and the feel of the book seriously this feels so nice this is something that you cannot attain from watching a video or taking a look at pictures online and yeah this is wow can't believe i finally own this this is the end paper it contains plaques of the houses in song of ice and fire series and now let's take a look inside the book and here you see a game of thrones being written on the front page and now moving on to the next page oh it's an empty page and wow oh yeah i forgot that this is introduced by joe abercrombie one of my favorite authors and yeah the illustrations uh, all of them are done by Jonathan Burton and just take a look at this you open the first page and then you are welcome with this gorgeously illustrated image of the opening of a Game of Thrones and yeah the iconic opening of a Game of Thrones wow this looks beautiful just looks so much better in person and yeah, this is the table of content and yeah this is for uh, the first volume so yeah this is the table of content and then moving on to the next one we have the table of content for volume 2 and also the list of illustrations. Now let's take a look at some more illustrations. And then we have the introduction and I think this one is written by Joe Abercrombie. I will definitely take a read at this one because Joe Abercrombie is one of my favorite authors and I know that A Song of Ice and Fire is one of his main inspirations behind the first law series. I will definitely take a read at this one after I'm done with this unboxing video of course. And this is uh, four pages long. And after the introduction by Joe Abercrombie, the prologue uh, begins. There is no chapter header in the prologue, but I know uh, every narr narrator inside this book, inside this series, has their own unique, uh, uniquely drawn uh, chapter header done by Jonathan Burton as well. I'm going to try to find uh, the first one here. Oh yeah, see, this one is for Brand. And yeah. Those who have read The Song of Ice and Fire will know the meaning behind this chapter header and oh my god, this looks beautiful, super beautiful. I'm going to find another one. Wow, and this is for Catelyn Stark. You know what, let's find another one, let's find another one before I move on to show you some illustrations inside this book. And this is the chapter header for Daenerys. Daenerys Targaryen and I love it. I love it so much. It looks super beautiful. Uh, oh, this is for Jon Snow. Here's the bonus, another one. <laughs> oh, this one is incredibly stunning. I think this one is my favorite so far, but I will take a look more uh, later on. But seriously, this Folio Society never disappoint because I'm still impressed to this day by my copy of the Book of the New Sun. And now this one, I think this is even more well produced than the Book of the New Sun. Now, I'm going to try to find one more illustrations before I move on to volume 2. And yeah, I'm a bit afraid of opening this because yeah, this is still new. And here's the next illustrations and wow, amazing, incredible. Jonathan Burton did such a great job in illustrating this book. And wow, seriously, beautiful. This is Daenerys and Khal Drogo. Let's take a look at one more art and then I will move on to volume 2. And this is amazing. This is amazing, seriously, amazing. So beautiful. And I know that Jimmy from the Fantasy Network has done an unboxing video of A Song of Ice and Fire, Volume 1 until Volume 4. And he also told me that I think Jonathan Burton is his uh, favorite illustrator for A Song of Ice and Fire. And now, after seeing it in person, I'm starting to understand why. Come on, this is just beautiful. Everything that I've seen so far in person it's so much beautiful than what I've seen online. It's, wow, they are stunning. They are stunning. But I'm going to close this now. And now I'm going to show you a volume two. And then maybe after that, I will show you a detailed flip through of this copy of the Game of Thrones, volume one and volume two. Follow your society edition so you can take a look at the details even more because these details, man, they are exquisite. They are exquisite. So I'm going to put this here, volume one, and now I'm going to open uh, volume 2. This is volume 2. And there is something. Oh, yeah, there is there's a map. There is a map uh, I will I will open that uh, the last one now. I'm going to open volume 2 first and Oh, yeah, I completely forgot that there is an illustration inside this slipcase. You have to take a look at this This is amazing. This is an illustration of the others printed inside the slipcase. This this is crazy This is just crazy folio society. Well done Seriously, well done. 
I mean, wow, honestly, I never seen anything like this in any other slipcase. This is the first time I've seen an illustration printed inside the slipcase. And this is the map, uh, the map of the known world. And I will open this, the last one. First, I'm going to open a uh, volume two. And this is for the second half of a Game of Thrones. And yeah, this is a picture of, I think, to symbolize Lannister abiding Baratheon. And yeah, I love this. This is a beautiful cover art. Just like the first volume, I think this is an absolutely gorgeous cover art. Love it so much. And yeah, look how shiny it is. Now I'm going to open it. And just like the first one, the end paper is printed as well. And now let's take a look inside the book. Oh yeah, so this is again uh, the table of content for volume two. And of course, I think the next one will have a table of content for the illustrations. And yeah, I was right. See? And volume two of A Game of Thrones starts from uh, page 377. And yeah, it begins with Bran again. And yeah, this is just stunning. Seriously, thank you so much to Adi for getting me a copy of this. This has always been one of my most crave uh, special edition and this really live up to my expectations so far. And this is uh, the chapter header for Tyrion Lannister. I totally love it. It's beautiful. But yeah, I think my favorite is still uh, Jon Snow chapter header. I think that one really uh, caught my attention immediately. And I love the details. Oh wait, I changed my mind. I changed my mind right now because I just saw the chapter header for Arya and I think, yeah, I think this one is my favorite of them all. It's such a beautifully produced book and no wonder that it is so expensive. Seriously, if you've seen it in person and you feel the quality of the paper, the quality of the artwork, it's just insane. Okay, let's take a look at one more artwork here and then I'm going to check out the map. So this is another artwork inside volume two of A Game of Thrones, and yeah. So one of the things that I remember very clearly uh, from Jimmy, what he said about Jonathan Burton's artwork is that Jonathan Burton captured the horror aspect of A Song of Ice and Fire so much, and I have to agree with him. I think what he said is totally correct and based on everything that I've seen so far, especially for A Peaceful Cruise. I think the horror aspect in that book were displayed so clearly through the artworks done by Jonathan Burton. Not gonna lie, lately my itch to reread Song of Ice and Fire has been growing stronger and stronger. And I know that when the time comes, I will do my reread of A Song of Ice and Fire, at least for A Game of Thrones, using this edition, because I think this will actually enhance my reading experience. So beautiful. And oh yeah, I forgot to show you this is uh, at the top is black spray edges, but this one is not sprayed, and this is also not sprayed. This is actually the same for my copy of the Book of the New Sun as well. I honestly don't know why Folio Society only spray etch on uh, the top, so maybe if you know, do tell me why they don't spray etch this and also this. So yeah, now let's take a look at the map. So other than Volume 1 and Volume 2, we also got this one. A map of the known world and i think this is only available in a game of thrones i don't think you can get this map from buying a clash of kings a storm of swords a feast for crows and also a dance with dragons but yeah now i'm going to open this okay how do i open this okay you just have to make do with this because this is absolutely amazing it's so intricate too i don't think i have ever owned any map any map printed from a fantasy book. Yeah, I know. I, I never own a fantasy map and now I can definitely see the appeal. It looks amazing. Wow, Folio Society. Seriously, wow. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my unboxing video. And I just want to say thank you so much to Adi, uh, one of my patrons, for getting me a copy of this. This means the world to me. This means a lot. And I don't know when I will get a copy of Clash of Kings, but for now, I will just say that I'm thoroughly satisfied with this gift. I will actually consider this as my Christmas present, my Christmas and birthday present. Because my birthday is actually in January, so I might as well consider this a Christmas and birthday present because as I said, this is not a cheap gift. This is an expensive gift. So regarding its price, the book costs 160 pounds and the shipping, international shipping, costs 38 pounds. So yeah, this is not cheap. But on top of that, I still have to pay uh, $50, 50 US dollar for custom fee. So in total, yeah, that's that's more than 200 pounds. And yeah, it is incredibly expensive. Does the price actually live up to the quality? I will say yes. Will this be worth it? It depends. I think it really depends. You have to be a diehard fan of A Song of Ice and Fire to actually consider, I think, to consider this price to be worth it because this is 
not cheap. This is right now the most expensive book that I own in my entire collection of books. And I have uh, hundreds, hundreds of books. And yeah, this is the most expensive. It's even more expensive than The Way of King's Dragon Steel Edition. And personally speaking, I love A Song of Ice and Fire so much, even though I didn't like the fourth and fifth book on my first read. I've heard that book four and book five get so much better on reread, and I look forward to that day. I have a feeling that it will come true. But even putting that into consideration, the first three books in A Song of Ice and Fire are some of my favorite books of all time, especially uh, the third book. Storm of Swords. I think that one is a masterpiece in epic fantasy and owning the Folio Society edition of A Game of Thrones, one of my favorite first book in a series of all time, means just, means so much. It means so much to me and I want to say thank you so much to Adi and I think the quality of A Game of Thrones, Folio Society edition, actually live up to the price. Seriously, if you actually hold this and see everything about this in person and I haven't even seen everything yet, I think you will understand why this actually costs that much but this doesn't mean that i encourage you to actually buy this if you're not a huge fan of a game of thrones or a song of ice and fire i don't encourage you to do that because believe me in the end what matters most is actually the text and this as far as i know contain all the text from the standard edition yes this is me trying to actually decrease capitalism <laughs> but yeah i'm thankful i'm super thankful this is actually now one of my most treasured special edition one of my most treasured books in my collection of books and once again thank you so much to adi for getting me a copy of this and if you want a copy of a game of thrones or in the entire a song of us and fire folio society edition do let me know whether you agree with the price or not and are you satisfied with your copies as always thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support bye bye Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.